After a farm worker died from working in the fields, President Biden announced new actions to protect workers and communities from extreme heat. Samantha Bird shares what actions state and federal leaders are taking. I'm in Dome Valley where a Yuma farm worker was working in the fields when he collapsed due to extreme heat and sadly lost his life. Lawmakers say this is something that never should have happened. The number one weather related killer is heat. President Joe Biden taking action to protect workers from extreme heat. The president asked the Department of Labor to issue a first ever hazard alert for heat and announced new investments to protect communities. 600 people die annually from its effects more than from floods, hurricanes tor and tornadoes in America combined. He says millions of Americans are currently experiencing the effects of extreme heat which is growing in intensity, frequency, and duration due to the climate crisis. Arizona State Representative Mariana Sandoval is just one of many Arizona lawmakers calling for extreme heat protections after the death of Yuma farm worker Dario Mendoza. As you can imagine, somebody working in the field all day in these temperatures, if they're not getting the proper shade or the proper hydration um, or the proper, proper breaks, uh, to, to get some respite from the temperatures. Um, as we saw in Mr. Mendoza's case, it, it could be devastating. I spoke to another local farm worker in Dome Valley who says this is the reality for them. When we're young, we don't have experience that the heat will harm us. But as time goes on, we know we need to drink a lot of water to avoid what happened to this farm worker. Mendoza leaves behind his partner and two children and his family could use some extra help. He left behind a, a young wife and two young children. And so if, if anyone is able to help, please, I invite you to donate to his GoFundMe. Mendoza's GoFundMe account is on our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in Dome Valley, Samantha Bird, News 11.